Now with this Cheetah Man 2 Kickstarter project, is it a scam or not? To tell you the truth, most likely it is. Now I have no idea if you're actually going to get your game cartridge or not if you pre-order it. But it's kind of bad because of the fact that, well, here's the thing. If you pay $60 for it, you can get the game with everything. The poster, the comic book, the game box, and the posters, and all that gimmicky stuff. But if you pay, like, $4 or less, you get, like, a poster. If you get $5 or more, you're going to get a poster and a comic book, etc., etc., etc. But... The thing about it is that it's sixty-five thousand dollars. They need they need to fundraise in order to get to their goal. Well, they don't even need that much. Um, there are other companies like Battle Kid Fortress of Pearl. That game didn't even need that much donations. It not if not not even at all. That's a homebrew game. Did not need much donations. I guess it might only cost it like five thousand dollars to make the donation. So, and that game's actually good. It's decent. It's very playable indeed. But Cheetah Man Two is a game that sucks. All they're going to do is probably remove some of the glitchy graphics, add the last three levels that you couldn't play, and probably remove that jumping glitch. But that's just about it. The same bad controls the same characters, the same bad game, no extra levels, none of that stuff. They're just going to recode it. They don't even need to recode it. Because here's the thing. They've already made a fixed version. All you need to do is get a homebrew cart and put it up. Here's the other thing. There are flash cartridges that exist in this world, like NES flash cartridges, all you need to do is make some sort of reproduction of the NES flash cartridge, but make it right protected so so it only allows one game to be played on there, and that's Cheetah Man 2, and it doesn't auto start. Something like that is uh, going to be a piece of cake to code. You don't have to recode the game, just put the special ha um, ROM hack that makes the game work. Of course, the game still sucks, but at least it'll work. But here's. Well, if you thought that that was unusual, well, boy, there's more. Well, the thing is that the fundraiser is a complete scam. I mean, they made their commercials and all that stuff, making Chiman sound cool and all that stuff. But they say that they need $65,000 in almost, no, more than half of that is already donated that's horrible most of that money is not even going to be used to make the game cartridge most all most of that is just going to be for them to keep for them to spend for themselves and the guy behind all this greg pavage or pavage however you pronounce his last name the thing about him is that he's a rich man. He doesn't need that money. If he doesn't get those donations, he can just pay it himself. And he can already pay the entire donation himself anyway. And also, if that's not enough for you, well, they've gotten Pat the NES Punk and James Nintendo Nerd to sponsor them. I could probably expect something like this from James because, you know, he's probably done his, like, movie donation thing. And he's, like, kept his donation open af even after he had his, like, expected number. After he had his final amount. You know, and he got over $100,000 more than what he was supposed to get. Most of that money was just for him. Also, but Pat the NES Punk? He doesn't, he's not going to make a movie. He just wants to make reviews and, you know, do this all for fun. But him to do something like this? Can we really trust you guys? Not to mention Mike Matei's bad comments, or wimpy comments saying, No, it's not our fault, we didn't notice. If you didn't notice, then why would you even, like, why did, wouldn't you do your research before you thought about this guy? I guess it wasn't... You know, I guess you probably didn't know about before, but 
Really, you already probably knew that Cheetah Man 2 was a horrible game, and they were made from the creators of Action 52. It was a complete scam. They knew the games weren't bad, and it, they marketed anyway just for money. The Greg Pavich is no more than a scam liar. And Pat the Enemy Punk, James Nintendo Nerd, Game Chasers, and even Mike Matei. Yeah, I can't believe you guys anymore. I, well, my, uh, Mike Matei, James Nintendo Nerd, Pat the Enemy Punk, you guys only have like... Pat still has most of his points still, but James and Mike, they're losing them. They're really losing them. Not to mention the, the fact that the only reason why the video is still up, well, the only reason why they're um, telling us is that they are not keeping the video up because they can't. They seriously can't. This video involved other people like Pat and Game Chasers that they can't delete it. It's your video. You upload it. You can delete it whenever you want. Mike Matei keeps deleting messages left and right. If the, if he's not the one who keeps censoring out all of the like channels and all the bad comments, criticism, then the only other way, the only other person is like if Mike Matei gave the James Nintendo Nerd account password to Greg Peebish or any of the other sponsors. That can get their account completely hacked. In the end of the video, they said, pl they didn't say play or die, they said pay or die. And that starts getting some questions. Did our last Nintendo review from your James Nintendo Nerd, will that be his last review? Yes or no? Overall, I think you shouldn't do this. I think it's a waste of your money. I think it's a waste of your time. The game will suck anyway. Why would you buy money for a crappy game? You can just probably download the ROM, put it on an emulator, hack your Wii with custom firmware, and then just, you know, put the hack ROM in your Wii. I mean, it's easy as that. The game's unlicensed. I mean, really, you have the entire right. You can play a ROM or emulator as long as the game is unlicensed or its license has expired. It's like trying to play a ROM hack. Enough with that. Should you pay for the pay or die type thing? Play or die? No. Stay away. And James Nintendo Nerd, Pat the Enius Punk, give us some explanations. You think you're off the hook, Mike Matei and Game Chasers? No, you're not. All of you guys who sponsored it need an explanation. We want a perfect analogy. We need an apology. And we want our game cartridges. I didn't donate, and I'm never going to donate. I don't even have an NES. And I'm never getting an NES. I don't really don't want an NES. But I don't want that game. It sucks. Cheat Man 2 The Creation. Wasn't that already enough? Pay or die. Don't believe that crap. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Repeat after me. It sucks. This is Trooper for Thousand, signing out.